Hi, welcome aboard Margie B. Ah, it's the Friday the 7th of March and Parker and I have come down here to see Margie B to try and wake her up from her winter slumber. She's been winterised here since the beginning of December and we've brought the batteries down, we've brought the new leisure battery down. I've been putting some wiring in to, um, to accommodate a, a leisure battery. So uh, we're going to install all of that today and try and start her up. We'll open up the Seacox, we'll check the engine, we'll check the fuel lines, check the oil and see if she'll start up for the first time this year. Wish us luck. <laughs> Can help us out, Parker? The first thing for us to do is to check the oil. There's the oil. Finish out. Comfortably about three mil below max. Don't know if you can see that. Oil's not in that bad a neck, but once we get back to tadpole, I will be pulling the oil out of this and refreshing. But that's a good start. Anything happened, Park? I'm just going to check the drainage taps as well because I had those open. That's nicely done up. That's all good. Because I had the, the drainage taps open to get as much water out of air before the winter as possible. Let's get these batteries in, hey Parker. First things first, we need to get to them. Parker, you come down. So we will move this chair out of the way first. And that section there. And we have access to our battery compartment. Now, over the winter, I've been installing all of the necessary wiring and a split charge relay for a leisure battery. Uh, the next step is to, I've got a, a Victron uh, charge controller that I'm going to get a solar panel and hook all that up to it as well, but that's phase two. Phase one is just get the le leisure battery in. And here we are, everything nicely installed. That's batteries all ready to go. And a couple more boat safety labels installed too. Now it's time to turn the fuel on and start checking the fuel lines to, for any leaks. Usually I'd also do this after I've run the engine once there's been uh, the fuel run through it as well, but I, I would always do it before I start the engine up as well. So that's opening up the Seacock for the first time this year and just checking that the weed filter top is uh, tightened down, that's already been checked and winding a little bit of grease into the 
stern gland as well before continuing the checks of the fuel lines. Just check those fuel joints all the way through, nice and dry, all good. Can't smell any fuel either, which is a good sign. <laughs> so now for the moment of truth, let's put the power on and see if RGB will start up. We have lights. first choke out and this is 100% the first time that this key has been turned this year this is in real time now Bingo, you beauty. <laughs> now just checking that the uh, impeller is drawing the water, the fresh water through the engine as it should do, so just checking the outlet. And all is good. She lives. She runs. You'll notice when we did look out the back that there was a bit of silt kicked up uh, behind us. That's because even in neutral, when she is revved, the prop does turn a little bit. So it's always going to stir up any sediment uh, underneath us if we're in, in shallow water. Now with her up and running, we can get on with a couple of other little jobs on the electrics. Now with the new leisure battery fuse, uh, fuse box, fuse panel, I'm now going to start transferring a few uh, circuits over to this. First I'm going to do the 12 volt um, cigarette lighter sockets and then I will look at installing some USB sockets as well. But uh, ultimately I want to move all of the leisure items over to this fuse board so we're not draining the main battery when we're using lights or anything like that. So wish me luck. Well that's my first circuit moved over. There's another socket inside runs off those wires that are dropping down and back down through the engine bay. Still got to attach it from the other side, tighten it up, but now we have a voltage reader purely for our leisure battery. So that's going to be really handy to keep an eye on what's going on with the leisure battery and whether it needs a charge. Although it will be charging off the alternator and then when we've got the solar on, whenever the solar kicks in, it will stick a charge through to it as well. So it's just to monitor it really. And now for a few jobs that I actually completed a couple of months back. It didn't really warrant a video in itself, uh, but I think it adds on quite nicely to this one with a couple of other little odd jobs around RGB. The first job I'm actually going to do is to replace our carbon monoxide alarm because the last time we were up here this was chirruping away with a low battery probably annoying everyone around here so that's new battery in and job number one ticked off this is job number two this hinge is 
bit misshapen. I don't know whether to replace the hinge or just fix it. I'll try fixing it first. But if not, then we will replace it. new boat safety certificate signage <laughs> missing that and these are the last two to fit because we've got the gas locker in there there is a sign there already again it doesn't really stand out too much here we go then there it is <laughs> No missing any of this now. We definitely got to fail any boat safety on labelling. So that's it for this video. Uh, we do still have a few more jobs to do to get Margie B ready for the summer. Um, but that can all wait until next week and uh, us moving her back to her home moorings. But in the meantime, thank you so much for joining us aboard Margie B again and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time.